Hello, everyone. How are you doing today? Are you ready for a story? Nani's walk to the park. That is going to be today's story. And the author of the story is Deepa Balsavar. And she is the illustrator as well. And the publisher of this book is Pratham Books. This is Nani. Nani means grandma. She's going for a walk. And where is she going? To the park. Let's see what happens. Nani. She has a bag and she's walking towards the park. Once a week, Nani goes to the park. Today, Venki wants to go with her. I walk slowly, says Nani. And I take my time getting there. I don't mind, says Venki. So Nani picks up her shopping bag and starts to cross the road. But Nani, says Venki, the park is that way. Nani means grandmother. So once a week, Nani, meaning grandmother, she goes to the park. And today, Venki, Venki is Nani's grandson. So Venki also wants to join her. Nani initially says, I'll walk very slowly. She's old, right? So she'll walk very slowly. So it will take time for me to go to the park. And Venki says, I don't have a problem. I don't mind. So Nani picks up a bag, her shopping bag, and she starts walking across the road. Then Venki says, but grandmom, the park is not that way. It is this way. Uh, look, they've crossed the road and Venki says, why are you going that way? The park is on the other, other side. This is where they're going to start their walk. Let's see what happens. We will go this way, says Nani, through the lane of treasures. Ah, she's not going to go to the park directly. No, she's going to start from the lane of treasures. What is that? What is a lane? Lane is a street. So she's going to through a street which is full of treasures. Is it gold? Is it diamond? Let us see what treasures are there in that lane. The lane of treasures? What a wonderful name for the market. The shops here sell everything. When Nani finishes shopping, Venki points to a gate and asks, Shall we take a shortcut, Nani? We'll be at the park in no time. So which lane are they talking about? That's the lane of treasures. It's the marketplace. It's a street full of shops. And you get pretty much everything, it seems. So Nani is having a beautiful name for that lane, for that street. She's calling it lane of treasures. So after... Grandma finished all her shopping. Venki immediately says, Grandma, can we take a shortcut? We can just cut across this way and we can go to the park much faster. So look, this is the lane of treasures. Indeed, it looks like treasures everywhere, right? Name anything, you seem to have a shop for it. It looks so colorful and vivid and beautiful, right? Such a nice name. Nani has given to this lane. Look how vibrant it is. It has everything. There is a samosa place. There is a paneer milk parlor. There are fruits, vegetables everywhere. Someone is selling bags. Someone is selling shoes, dresses, whatever you name it. It's all available in this street. No, says Nani. We'll go through the lane of beauty. Ah, looks like Nani names all the, the lanes nearby. She says, after the lane of treasures, we are not going directly to the park. We are going to now to the lane of beauty. Mm, let us see what that is. In the lane of beauty, the people stitch amazing godis. 
a lady gives Nani a godi in which Venki sees a piece of her favorite sari and a bit of Ma's kurta. Shall we go to the park now? asks Venki. Godi, pronounced Godi, is a traditional hand-stitched quilt made of recycled material, usually soft old cotton saris. So that's what she's calling it as the lane of beauty. They make this beautiful quilts, handmade. What do they use? They use old saris. It can, could be other dress material as well. They are all soft, right? Cotton, which has been used for some time, has become very soft. So with those things, they recycle it and make a, a quilt out of it. Such a wonderful concept, right? Instead of throwing it for waste, old saris and old clothing materials are being used to make a wonderful quilt. What is a quilt? Quilt is a, a thick multi-layered bedding that you would use when it's cold, you want to uh, put something, right? It's a bedding. So that's called a quilt. See, look, this is the lane of beauty. Such beautiful quilts they are making. Wonderful. This is the quilt that the lady is giving to Nani. And it's made of, made out of her favorite sari and mas kurta. So all the ones have been recycled. Yes, says Nani. We'll take the lane of happiness. Now they're going to go to the park, but not to the park immediately, but they're going to take the lane of happiness. And I think this lane is also going to be pretty interesting. Let us see what this lane is about. Come, come, Nani calls softly. And Venki laughs as dogs and cats tumble out from everywhere. So this is the lane of happiness. It is such a joyful sight, right? A lot of cats and dogs and kittens and puppies are coming. And they're all coming close to Venki, look, some are licking Venki. So it is a very happy lane. So obviously Nani has named it very appropriately, very perfectly. She's calling it lane of happiness. Look how joyful Venki looks. Nani also has a nice smile on her face. Nani pours the milk she bought at the market and they watch as the animals lick their bowels clean. Venki doesn't want to leave the lane of happiness, but Nani reminds him that they are on their way to the park. Next, Nani and Venki walk through a lane behind a little school. So Nani has got milk from that milk parlor that we saw in the lane of treasures, right? The marketplace, we saw the, the milk parlor, the milk shop. So she has got some milk and it's for the, the cats and dogs in the lane of happiness. So she pours the milk into bowls and all the animals lick it clean completely. They're also hungry, but they're probably waiting for Nani to come. Now that he has seen the lane of uh, happiness, Venki doesn't even want to leave that, that uh, lane, that street. But Nani then reminds him, we are on our way to the park, right? Enough, we have spent enough time in the lane of uh, happiness. Let's now leave. So now they're going somewhere near a, a little school, a, a street near a school. Oh, look, so many cats and dogs coming towards Nani. Look, they're all licking their bowels clean. Oh, such a wonderful sight to see. The children are playing Langri, Lagori and Sakli. Is this the lane of noise? Asks Venki. No, it's the lane of mischief. It reminds me of you and your friends. Laughs Nani. Have you named all the lanes in the city? Asks Venki. Not all, smiles Nani. Only the ones that are important to me. 
So when they are going past that small school, they're seeing a lot of kids playing. What are they playing? Langdi, Lagori and Sakli. These are some traditional games played in India. So the children are playing Langdi, Lagori and Sakli. What is Langdi? Langdi is hopping and catching. So the tenor or the person who is catching will hop with one leg, they will fold it and then start hopping and they'll start catching the rest of the members. What is Lagori? Lagori is seven stones. Have you played uh, seven stones? So Lagori is seven stones. So a team, there'll be two teams. One team will be in charge of having the, the seven stones to be set properly. The other team is to stop the, the first team from doing it and they will have a ball with that they will hit the opponent team. So that's, co that's called Lagori. And Sakli is chain. What do you do? The denner catches one person, say, and the person joins hands with the denner and they, two of them become the denner and then catch the other, other people. So they have to keep chaining themselves and it becomes more and more fun if there are more number of people. Five or more people, if they chain together, each one will run, try to run in one direction, right? So it will be very, really funny. These traditional games, the kids are all playing and it's so noisy. So Venki asks, is this the lane of noise? Then Nani says, no, no, this is not lane of noise. It's lane of mischief. And she says, this lane reminds me of you and all your friends. So now Venki is curious because they've passed through so many lanes, right? Lane of treasures, lane of uh, beauty, lane of happiness, now lane of mischief. Then uh, Venki is asking, so have you named all the lanes in the city? Then Nani says, no, no, no. I have not named all of them. The ones that are important to me, the ones that I think are interesting, the ones and those ones, I have named them. So let's see if they are now heading towards the park or somewhere else. So look, all the kids playing. This is Sakli. Okay. And then... Ah, seven stones. Look at it. This is Lagori. And where is hopping and ah, this person is hopping and catching. That is called, that is called Langdi. Okay, they're all busy playing. They're having so much fun. The park is not far now, but you will have to be a little patient. I want to stop at the lane of friendship. Now, uh, Nani says, the park is not very far now, but be a little more patient because we need to visit one more lane. And what's that lane? The lane of friendship. So Nani is heading towards the lane of friendship. See, I think she's going to go see her friend. In the lane of friendship, Nani visits her dear friend. They were girls together and they have grown old together. They whisper and they giggle. So like we guessed, Nani is visiting her friend. She's an old friend. They grew up together from girls. They have been together. They've been friends from, they were very young. So they have so much to talk. They whisper, they giggle. What is giggle? Giving out silly laughs. They're having a lot of fun. Then Nani gives her friend a hug and says, it is time to leave. We will now walk through the lane of dreams. After the lane of friendship, Nani gives a hug to her, a friend and says, now it's time for us to leave. So they decide to walk further towards the park and for that they have to go through the lane of dreams. Let's see what lane of dreams is. The lane of dreams has more books than Venki's school library. The bookseller sells old books for very little money and buys the ones people have finished reading. It is indeed a lane of dreams, right? Books are indeed full of dreams. There is, there is fantasy. There is so much that you can imagine. It's such a dreamy space to have so many books around. It is such a wonderful thing. And that lane has these old bookshops. What do they do? They sell these old books to people 
and after they read they come back and give it back to them so that more people can start reading it so for a small money they will get lot of wonderful books there look there are books everywhere oh my god book shops are there people are there is a library as well people are sitting everywhere and either reading or doing some activity it is indeed a lane of dreams nani chooses a book and says let's go we are almost at the park now and they walk down the lane of magic from the lane of dreams she picks up a book and then she says i think we are almost there let's now walk down the lane of magic let's see what lane of magic is about venki looks up at the big trees that offer shade and feels a cool breeze nani shows him gulmohar amaltas and jarul trees so this lane the lane of magic has such large big trees gulmohar amaltas jarul all sorts of big trees they not only offer shade to the people walking along that lane there is a nice cool breeze also coming because of those large trees the flowers on the road look like magic carpet there are flowers everywhere the jarul flowers the gulmohars all the flowers have shed and the road is filled with those flowers and it looks like a magic carpet hence the name the lane of magic it is such a lovely lane and nicely nani and venki walk along that lane of magic look beautiful all these beautiful flowers falling down gulmohar flowers falling down jarul flowers falling down it's like a a carpet of flowers right such a beautiful sight at last they are at the park it has been a long time since they left home venki looks around and thinks of all the people and places he has seen that morning at last they are at the park it's been a long time so many lanes they had to cover right it's been a long time since they left their home but venki is having such fond memories of all the people that he saw the lanes that he went through he's very interested he's looking back and thinking about all those things see now that they are in the park i like your lanes nani he says may i come with you next week to he loved this this journey to the park going through all these wonderful lanes when he just loved it so he says can i come with you the next week as well they're happily now having after playing in the park they are going back home let us look at some of the difficult words in today's story lane lane is a narrow road or a street in a town or village treasures a valuable item it can be gold gems diamonds or anything that is valuable giggle a light silly laugh quilt layered warm bed covering that's called a quilt try these questions do you have any interesting lanes around your house or in your town what names would you give these interesting lanes of all the lanes described in the book which lane would you like to spend most of your time and tell me why here the kids are playing lagori langdi etc what games do you like to play with your friends describe the game did you enjoy today's story i had a lot lot of fun i think it was a wonderful story and i loved all the illustrations as well i hope you enjoyed it until next time it's bye from saumya